My favorite analogy of how this works comes from sailing. Everybody will tell you that a boat, a sailboat goes through the water because of the opposition between the wind and its sails and the water, the gravitational frictional force of the water on its keel. And that's right, but it's not quite right. That's what I learned in eighth grade science, but I had to completely unlearn that when I got my first sailboat. Because a boat in that position doesn't go through the water. It rounds up into the wind and stops. And it's only when you add the third force, which is the, the helmsman holding the tiller, that the opposing forces come into a relationship that lets forward motion go. So you see what I mean here? And you may say, oh, well, that's obvious. But it's in the obviousities that we get so screwed up. <laughs> you know, it's obvious, but it's subtle. You know, because as long as you're thinking it's just these two things banging back and forth between each other and the boat's going to go through the water, you're going to sit there at the starting gate while the whole fleet goes beyond you. So there's always threeness. And if you look carefully, you can find it in anything. And very often, in fact, the Lowell will say, is that when you kind find constant impasse, it's because the third is missing or blocked. And very frequently, it's already there in the situation, but you just don't see it. <laughs>